Today we're going to learn the uh, proper workflow for when we begin with uh, 4K footage and want to end with a 1080p project. First thing you do with that 4K footage is we need to rename it something useful and then put it in the folder called video. And then we will select all of that and we will name that folder original. And then we will also need to add an, another folder called Dropbox. With that done, now we will open up uh, the Adobe Media Encoder. And uh, the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to connect our watch folder to that Dropbox. We'll hit the plus, video, Dropbox, choose. And then we want to add a couple codecs uh, to this uh, watch folder. The first one is we'll take H.264 and let's pick match source high bit rate and add that. And we want to connect that to the output and we will name that high res. Then we will grab the match source low bit rate and we will add it to that. And we will send it to a new folder called low res. Next thing we'll do is we will take our video files and I'm going to hit Command C for copy, and I am going to hit Command V for paste, and drop them right into the project. And Media Encoder will then automatically take those files and create two different uh, clips. Basically, it's going to create a low-res version of each clip and a high-res version. And so if we look at clip number six in the high-res folder, we will see that it's still 4K and it's 86 megabytes. And then the low-res version is also still 4K, but is about a quarter of the size. Now we just need to wait for all the other files to be completed. When the encoding is done, just double check to make sure that you have a high res file folder that has high res files and a low res file folder that has low res files. And then we can put media encoder to sleep. The next thing we'll do is we'll make a new folder and we'll call that proxy tutorial. And we will take our video folder and we will drag it inside that so that it's all nested in there nice and neat. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Premiere and we're going to make it a new project and we're going to call it Proxy. And we're going to save that inside our Proxy Tutorial. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our video and we're going to take the high res video and we are going to drag it into the bin and we'll do the same with the low res video. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to create a new sequence and we are going to want it to be an HDV 
1080p 30 sequence, and we will call it um, low res proxy. Okay, we will take, um, we'll drag low res proxy out of the uh, the bin so that it's easy to find. We're going to select all these clips and drag them into the sequence and we want to keep the existing settings. Our 4K footage is going to be scaled too, lar uh, too big to fit in the whole frame and so what we will want to do is then we will clip modify video and we're going to scale to frame size and now all of our 4K footage is going to uh, match our 1080p project. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, click on our sequence and we're going to duplicate it and we're going to call it high res And basically what we're going to be saying is that we spent our, our whole time uh, you know, editing the low res footage so that we could get better computer performance and work a whole lot quicker. And then once we get picture lock, then what we want to do is clone that and then reconnect it to the better quality 4K footage. So the first thing we'll do is we'll select all the footage and we'll make it offline and the media files remain on the disk, yes. And then we want to link the media and we want to send it to our high-res folder. Now we have the high-res version of our project and you can export that uh, for your final project.